Okay, so just got in the mail. In this box right here are the brand new Superior 4.5s. And I am in the middle of redesigning this whole room to be a much more efficient and maybe a little bit more presentable of a like YouTube studio. Like really, really excited about what I've got going on here. Can't wait to share it all with you guys, but it's not done yet, but I need to go for a run today. And so these brand new, ooh, check it out. That would help to get some better light on here. These are the brand new Ultra Superior 4.5s. Superiors have always been like my absolute favorite trail running shoe. It just fits like a glove. The feel of running trails in a pair of Superiors is absolutely amazing. Uh, and I always do put in these stone guards. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that. So if you take, what you gotta do is you gotta open up your shoe and you have to take this sole out. Then, I've got these stone guards. I've also never had to trim these, but we're gonna see if they actually fit this time. They do have a new sizing chart on here, and I've never had to cut these, but I might have to. I might have to on this pair. So that's how they go in there, just like that. It's nice and secure in here because you've got these little like bumps on here that kind of like stick to the bottom and then it will eventually stick to here. And another thing, check this out. On the bottom of any of your Ultra uh, insert, you can see which last the shoe was made on. And I know I've been talking about lasts and is it the performance last or the standard last? There's a couple others. But if you look in here and it says PFS, that is performance last. All right, but before these get too dirty, I wanted to go over a few of the differences between the 4.5 and the old 4s. Uh, so right off the bat, you can see the heel cups uh, have changed quite a bit. The heel cup on the 4 uh, and the 4.5, the padding is just a little bit different. Different material. The actual design of it, like with the tongue and everything, not too different. The outsole is still basically exactly the same. Uh, still a Quantic outsole, Max Track grip, Lug pattern, lug pattern is all the same, nothing different there. The material in the forefoot is a little bit different, just a little bit more textured, uh, whereas on the four, it was a little bit smoother. But the biggest difference that I see here is the lacing system. The four has a little bit more of a traditional lacing system just coming through the material here. 4.5, uh, they've added these loops. This material just like stops like right here So it doesn't go down all the way or anything like that, which is actually nice. typically I don't like that when shoes Do that and they send a piece of material all the way down to the bottom these little loops stop right here Which is great, but overall this is a pretty typical 0.5 upgrade and we're gonna see on this run today But I think this lacing system is gonna be just a little bit of an improvement. So let's go Okay, so here at the typical new amphitheater and I do not have much time. I've only got about an hour and 45, maybe two hours at the most. I spent a lot of time today fixing up a room in the house that is my YouTube studio slash office. Doing some renovation, not like knocking out walls or anything, but I repaint. I took down some shelves, spackled, repainted, did a whole bunch of work like last night and this morning. And so uh, that's why it's like three o'clock right now uh, and I'm just getting out to the trails. Using the Coros Vertex again today. And I've got the Ultra. Superior 4.5s. Very excited about these. I've also got the Olympus 4, just in case uh, these, because I haven't been running in minimal shoes in quite a while. Robert Brooks just commented on one of my videos, favorite spring energy flavors. Uh, this right here is probably my favorite flavor. Uh, Power Rush, that's what it's called. I also like Canterbury. I like them all, really, um, but if I had to pick one, it would probably be this one. It's been a while since I've ran these trails here. I'm pretty excited to get back out on them and have my face covering in case because there's there are quite a few cars here. But let's go.
the power rush. So I'm 35 minutes in now, three and a quarter miles. And uh, that was 90 calories, about one gel every 35 to 40 minutes. Uh, one of the uh, uh, smaller gels, 90 calories or like 100 calories uh, from spring. That's what I found is like my sweet spot. And then once I get closer to like the uh, 20 mile mark or so, I'll start taking some of the uh, higher calorie gels, like the uh, 200 or 250 calorie gels, just so that I can get, because I'm, at that point I'm like walking a little bit more too. But yeah, that's how I do it. Man, it feels good to run in superiors again. I can definitely feel uh, my legs. I'm not used to running in like minimal shoes like this. Last couple of trail runs I've done on the Olympus, and then every road run this week I've been in the Torn Plush, test, just testing those out. So it's been a while since I've done anything minimal. So my legs are feeling it. Oh man, ever since my fall at Mohican, when I tore cartilage in my ankle, it was just on a grass hill. It was way smaller than that, but anytime I'm on a grass hill, I just like freak out a little bit. That kind of sucks. But hopefully I'll get over it one of these days.
10.16 miles, two hours. And I feel pretty good. Definitely, uh, definitely calling it here at 10 miles. Whenever you switch shoes, like especially if you're going from something like more maximal, like an Olympus or Temp or even a Lone Peak or something, and you start running in superiors, you want to give your body some a chance to break in a little bit to them. You don't want to just like go crazy and go run an ultra uh, your first time in a pair of superiors. I can feel my IT band a little bit, but anyway, that's it. It's five o'clock and it's my turn to cook dinner tonight, so I gotta go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So it is like 10.30 at night and I just realized that I hadn't filmed anything after I got home from my run. So recap it a little bit. It was a nice run, 10 miles, it was rainy, so it was nice and cool. No one out on the trails, like the whole time I saw one person, I think. And so probably the reason why you clicked on this video was to see the Ultra Superior 4.5s and they did not disappoint. They were awesome, very similar to the 4.0s. And so if you guys like those, if those are like your shoes, then the 4.5s are just gonna be a natural like next purchase. There's not like a whole lot of like new things in it that I would say like you have to up Upgrade if you've got the fours right now and you still have another hundred or a couple hundred miles on them Like just finish those out and then get these new 4.5s. But if you're interested in ultras more um, I would call it like minimal shoe like really really good for like maybe like 5k's 10k's out on the trails uh, most people will probably find a lot of enjoyment wearing the superiors for that kind of stuff. And then some people who really like the minimal feel, you're really gonna like these for your marathon up to ultra. The Lone Peak was my introduction to ultra and ultras trail running shoes. Like I said earlier in the video, I like all of them. You've got the superior, you've got the Lone Peak, you've got the Temp, you've got the Olympus, you've got the King MT, like they all serve a purpose and I really like all of them. But I have to say my favorite, the shoe that just makes me remember why I love trail running is the Superior. It just connects you to the trail so well. Like you just feel like you can do anything. Like you're so agile in the Superiors. Uh, they're really, really good on super technical stuff as long as it's dry uh, and also really buffed out trails. Uh, again, as long as it's dry. Uh, they don't do so well when it starts getting really muddy because the lugs on the bottom of them are super short. That's what like the King MT or the Lone Peak is for. When it starts getting really muddy, you might wanna switch to a shoe like that. Even the Olympus, the lugs are a little bit longer. The small upgrades to the upper are noticeable and they're good, um, but it's not a game changer for the shoe at all. It's just, it's the same superior that we've loved for the last couple versions. But yeah, that's where I'm gonna stop this video. Thank you so much for joining. That's my first thoughts on the Ultra Superior 4.5 and I'll catch back up with you guys again soon. Bye.